it's it's more than just a job you know it's Everything that my family has been, is now, and will be, is, um, is tied up in, in this place. Tongue River Valley is an incredibly rich and important um, agricultural valley, but water's precious here. So that river is pretty much a lifeblood of a, of a big, vast area. This was some of the best grazing land and grasslands and short grass prairies anywhere. In, in, in the world, really, and that's why it's incredibly important and great for, um, for cattle grazing. It's an area that's rich in, in history, in culture, and we think an incredibly beautiful landscape. The, these hills, it's, yes, it's where we do our work, but it's also where we go for solace. It's where we go for, to feel better about the world, and so, and we know, we know we are incredibly blessed. You know, you'll go to a, a ranching event in this community and you'll be working with people whose families have been working together for over a hundred years. And that's pretty remarkable. And we still live in community. We still ranch with our neighbors. We depend on each other. And industrialization really threatens that aspect of our life as well. I think this part of, of Montana, this part of the West, it's um, it's as American as you can get, and we're actually talking about, you know, condemning land, um, digging up coal underneath um, productive ranch, ranching and farming areas, and shipping it to Asia. That seems like a travesty. This is all about the need for jobs, and they'd be very short term. I mean, we're talking about, you know, we, we're ranching for the long haul. You know, we're ranch for generations. I feel like ranching is really, um, it's, it's our business, but it's also our, our, it's who we are. So that, um, that's really hard to kind of put into an environmental impact statement. It's hard to kind of get across that, you know, what it does to a community, what it does to a person. So in, in ranching, we work, we work for the next generation. And it's very hard to plan for that work, it's pl to plan for that next generation when you're facing the kind of industrialization that, that we're looking at in this, in this whole area. I want to be able to pass on the land like whole and intact, you know. Um, but I also want to be able to pass on the values that my granddad and my dad have given me. And that, that value is that you, you take care of this place. You know, my dad is, he often points out to me the way, our, the, the old titles to our land read like a marriage license. This is yours to have and to hold. And there's a value there. There's a value in, this is yours for a little while. It's, it's yours to pass on, it's yours to care for. We need energy in this country, you know, but I, I think we've got to go towards healthy and sustainable energy. We can't keep tearing up these places and places like this that there aren't, there aren't other Tongue River Valleys. I think the, indu the industrialization of, of places like this, especially with the history that this area has, you take away the ranching culture and the ranching life and the, and the economy um, and it isn't the same place. Because everyone talks about the value of these projects but getting the agencies, the people who are responsible for per permitting this to actually and honestly really assess the costs of this. We're productive and we're vibrant and we're, you know, we're passing on this. And I think in that way, I think this isn't just an issue about one little valley and a small group of ranchers trying to protect their businesses in the way of life. I think this valley matters um, to us as a country too. I think these kind of places matter. Ranchers in the Tongue River and, and the Otter Creek Valleys, we are in the path of this Tongue River Railroad. And 
Just by ourselves, it's a pretty hard thing to fight. We, we need people to stand with us, you know, and to act, to, to join us, and to, you know, to help us kind of fight this.